There we go. You're mine, buddy. There we go. You're on my side. Help me. He's like spinning like burf, burf, burf. Go get him. Oh, is he dead or he's, he's, he's dead. <laughs> So my homies, welcome back to another episode of Horizon 0, .0 Dawn. Get it? If 0, .0 is still zero. So we have just entered the uh, the the womb of the uh, of the ancients, and uh, who knows what the hell's gonna be lurking down here? Hopefully, some secrets. Dr. Faber, you are three hundred and fifty-five thousand five hundred and ten days out of the day for your meeting with Mr. Faber. Please Fifth proceed to the thirty-fifth floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Ooh, so this is from the past. I mean, well, we knew that already, but now... If you you can work that out, type it in Google. Go Google 350,000 days in years. And we can figure out how far in the future this is set from when everything went down. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure someone in the comments is going to do that. You guys are awesome. Um, let's get going. I'm excited to continue this story. Oh, what do we have? Oh, nothing, nothing. Can't scan these? Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh no! I did not see that. And I just fell. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. So, hello, welcome back. It's like probably going to be the last recording session for me of tonight. If you if you're bothered at all, <laughs> I've got me cup of tea. Oh, I'm all snug, I'm all cozy, and I'm gonna have a shower after this. And oh my god, I cannot wait to actually get a good night's kip. And that means sleep if you're not English. Okay, um, should I be having this on? I don't know. Maybe this would be interesting. Hopefully, we can find some fat loot while we're here. I mean, we're we're skillage as it is anyway. What a Anything? Oh god, I can see a yeti coming out of there and attacking me. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> oh god, it's the deer! <laughs> yeah, some of you could, like, if you watch my um, hunting Bigfoot Bigfoot video, loads of you guys got a jump scare from that deer. I'm so sorry. For a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Feral leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Faro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Faro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Faro Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Yeah. So these were peacekeepers. Interesting. So they were placed around to stop, obviously, any enemy. Activate? Act, act, activate. Activate. <laughs> yeah. There's an old, older one from uh, Master Chief. Oh my god, my hair! Oh, sorry, did I just click the thing again? Oops, my bad. Let's scan this. Data corruption minimal. Text log. Damn it, why can't it be speech? I don't want to talk. <laughs> cool. It's all sciencey and pretty. What's in here? A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. That voice is so familiar. Ooh, audio! Oh, can we not click that? It's a it's a note. Oh, but we can click it. Damn it, it's not! You big liar! I thought it was this. 
Oh yeah, that see that's one. Is that the one we just got? Play. Oh no, we got that one. Was it this one? You think I want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. <laughs> oh, that was the first one. So. Serve and they live. Disobey. No, we've already got those. It was one of these. Aha! Oh my god, there's so many. I've never opened this before. It's this. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. We will be exploiting a massive, uh growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. Hold on a minute. So they made robots that were fully automated and obviously thought for themselves, the robots we see above, yet they decided all of a sudden to stop making that production line and go back to the old ways, as he said, and make robots that were controlled by humans interesting they discovered something they become sentient that's what happened and the whole world ended <laughs> sorry I get excited when I skid up we go the air there's no smell to it not even old death nothing natural does it smell nice <laughs> at least you would hope. Feel like a yeti is going to attack me still. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, is that a shortcut? Or is this somewhere new? Lord knows. Looks like there's multiple ways to get around this area. So how about we just stick to, um, you know, the beaten path. How about we do that? That's a good idea. But I could get through. Oh god, this is a bit creepy. Um, hopefully you guys can see enough. Uh, if, if it's really dark, what I, I tend to do normally is just brighten it anyway. For you guys, like, just put, boost the brightness and boost the contrast. So- Oh, you buggy! You, you mother of God! That sent chills from my chest into my forearms. Oh my God. I- I didn't die though. Well, I, I'm supposed to fall, am I? No. Okay. Ha! Suck it! Okay. Well, I am. Got it. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? I think I am supposed to fall down, you know. Alright then. Let's pretend we fell down. Oh, no. We can get back up. You see? Uh, lightning reactions! Lightning McQueen! Oh, God. Are you freaking serious? I'm back down to the bottom floor! <laughs> no! <laughs> I was just done praising myself. Oh, well, at least we can get up there pretty easy. Just up here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we don't even need to speed this up. I'm doing it quick enough as it is. I'll, I'll provide the music. Ready? Play me off, Johnny! <laughs> Whoosh. We fall down. We get back up again. We climb the ladder. We get back up again. Okay, so I'm supposed to get up there. Oh my! Oh, I'm supposed to climb it. Got it. Okay, so yeah, I was supposed to do this. Thank God we're a lot more athletic than a. Oh God! No! 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 Off, off this way! Oh God! Okay, don't jump towards the camera, love. Bit frightening. <laughs> Not gonna lie. If this is VR. I'd be terrified. What's that? Supply crate! Supply crate! Supply crate! Supply crate! Whee! Oh, it's around the wall. Mine, mine, mine! Got a wall. Wire. Six wire. That's good. Always could do with wire. Ooh, what's this? Another text. That's okay. I'm not really here for collectibles, but I'm here for supplies! Gimme! They blame this place for something. They blame this place for something. Ooh. Today on this board meeting, 
Mr. Important in the middle. Today's subject, roly polies. <laughs> and how being ginger is the best thing in the world. It looks like the way up. What's left of it? Okay. Let's go up. As long as like an elevator all of a sudden doesn't decide to uh, attack us, that'd be great. Come on, come on. This is made by Gorilla Games. Quit monkeying around. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't grab me. Don't grab me. Oh. Gotta be oh. Way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. Yeah, Dr. Sobek. We're basically outside now. We're not even underneath. I'm late for me meeting. Hanging up here. Guess I can too. Whoa! What are you doing, love? Am I supposed to go up this way? I am. Okay, never mind. I was I was like trying to pull off, but all right. I mean, not that pull off. Come on. <laughs> Wee! Oh, good lord! I didn't know there was a drop there. Thank God she's got fingers of Titan, Titanite. Or else I would have definitely slipped off that. Where, where even are we? Map. Oh. I can't zoom out. We're just on floors. We're actually underground, but in floors? But it looks like outside. Oh, we're in a building. World's going white. It is, love. The whole world's gone going white. This is called whitewashing. It started with Ghost in the Shell and other movies. And then it... Then nature got involved. <laughs> we're gonna turn everything snow. Why is there black snow? <laughs> oh, God. What was that? Nothing? Okay, just debris. Come on. Up we get. Just just in case, I thought I'd clear it up. I'm not racist. Because I feel like some people are going to be, Whoa, 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 Beaver. Beaver became too edgy. I'm, it's it's, it's I'm not nothing serious. God damn it. <laughs> Can't say anything these days. Oh, without it being misconstrued. Oh, I got a... Oh, hello. I got a pack from that. And also this caught my attention. This blue wa wire. Hold on. I've been here before. Is there anything here that I can take? No. So why the heck did I go this way? Oh! Don't do that! I'm pretty sure I'd... F oh no, this is different. Yeah, this is. Okay, ready? Run up! Oh, Jesus... Wait, I can't climb that? Wait, what? Hold, hold the phone. Why was she... S yeah, jump for it. Jump, jump for joy. There we go. Much better. And again. Up you get, love. Assassin's Creed this. Uh, no, other way. Come on, pet. Love. Lover. <laughs> oh, God, are we here? I think we're here. No, get on there! Stop it! No! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not holding that way at all! Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Right, we'll get there eventually. Uh, anything here? Any little loot crates? Loot crate sponsored! <laughs> Don't fall now! I feel like a little, little monkey. Oh no, I'm cold. To be honest, I would be too. You're not even wearing gloves, love. I, 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 I need gloves, <laughs> especially in the winter. I'm, I'm from the North League, but you know, I'm not being Daft League, but it's pretty darn cool. Still telling me. Serious? You want me to go that way? Oh, thank God. She has a habit of not being able to jump very far. Thank God it wasn't too far. We're thanking God a lot here. Nature, mother, uh, whatever you want to call it. In this game, I think it is. Ooh, hoo, hoo, the horsies! Oh, another one. Hold on. Hold on, guys. The tea's gonna go cold. It's quite cold here, so... Hmm. Oh... Oh, it's good. You see, in America, it's mostly coffee, isn't it? It's coffee. Gotta have some coffee. 
Depending on if you're like a, a mafia boss. <laughs> but then it's, were you talking to me? You said to me. I think, right? <laughs> I've never seen Godfather. I need to. Hmm. Lovely. And we'll resume that in five minutes, where it'll be even colder. So, anything here? Nice lights. The way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. True. True is all it. Oh my God! This place. Made it. Wonder what we'll find. So we're here now, because she said so. <laughs> I mean, we could technically. Yep, we're on the twelfth floor. Okay. Uh, do not fall, and do not, do not jump too much, because this could be glass. We can't tell. It's just like the day after tomorrow. <gasps> Look how glistening that is. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Hello. Examine. Has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Uh, yes. yes. I believe I do. A file has been recovered. One. Just one file. Is that right? Just, just, just one. Um. Oh, is it on the table? Oh, hello. There she is! Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. Alright, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up to something big or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So, spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. You're killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data, then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another thing has been recovered. Oh, thank God, because I've almost finished my tea. I need one more file to pass the time. <laughs> this isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. I'm fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization, we're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained, it can't be! You know what I mean! Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Wow. So it was like Terminator. Oh! She went straight through me. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. Or did she? The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow has been recovered. Oh, convenient. Okay, let's find out. Oh, this is cool. It is like Terminator. You got self. It's like War of the Worlds. Did you see that one with, uh, what's he called? Tom Cruise. Is it Tom Cruise? I feel like yeah, Tom Cruise in it. Where they sort of use humans as fuel. It's kind of similar to that. Well, it's the same thing. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. Zero if Dawn? Roll credits! Your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. 
It may be Krem, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. Oh, that's why she's moving about. In 15 minutes, she's in a car. General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Thought she'd just been cut in half. <laughs> Put on now the table. Your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. And you will? Don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Ooh, what was the real cause then? Why? Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. Oh. God forgive me. Is she dead? Hello? What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. Oh, well that would have been great if that was working before. God! I'm gonna walk my way all over here. I got dressed up for the occasion. And now the elevator's working. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. You're a clone. You All are her. And I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea? How monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. Huh. <laughs> I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Say it! Say my name! Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. Pineapple on pizza or no? <laughs> Um, you don't understand. Oh, we can't, we can't just be all lovey, like, I, I've searched, we have to be to the point here. We have to, like, we can't just be, if you're so smart, nye, nye, nye. we can't also be like, but nye, 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 nye. we have to be, nye, 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 nye. <laughs> I see your point. All right, silence, you've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek, and I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her, or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me, or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then why are you still standing here? Um. 
because I'm done with you. You're insufferable, you know that? Let's get on with this. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Like everything Islands, else in this damn game. Tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Oh. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, nice lift! Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Oh, this is awesome. We're learning so much. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, but hey, down is good. Go to the Grave Horde. Oh, we also leveled up. We're level 23 now. Woo! God, I'd be terrified if that was real life. Look how blue I am. I'm blue, my money, my mind I. My commentary is annoying, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm excited though. This is awesome. Okay, so where do I have. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, let's wait for the map to load. Now, we have infinite. Um, what do you call it? Fast travels. So, let's fast travel here. I, th I think I've done a lot. Like, we've got the best bow, or two of the best bows. Uh, we haven't got... We should look at the modifiers. Now, the thing is, I can't take them off once I've put them on unless I devote a lot of points to the Tinker uh, class in the skill set, in the skill uh, tree. But that skill tree, the Tinker one, is the last one of a certain set. And I've, I don't even have the first one. So that's going to be a long time to get it, and it's not worth it. So if we put something on a bow... It's either permanent, or we have to lose it forever once we take it off. Um, so, it's, it, that's why my first bow really doesn't have anything on it, and it would probably benefit from it a lot if we did. And also if we put something on our armor too. Um, we can always replace crap things with better things, we just can't take them off and keep them. So, uh, while we do that, we should look at our outfit, this one, and see what we can put on it. We get a resistant to range attack. We'll go by the purples, because the purples are the more valuable ones. 25% resistant to fire and 6% resistant to melee. 28%, 27%. Shock. Uh, what's this? Resist corruption. We could add stealth, I suppose, to our own. I mean, we don't have stealth at the moment. And if you see on the left, it actually gives us that extra. So we could put stealth on, although they're not good stealth at the moment. Um, we, oh wow, that has loads, resist shock, resist range attack, resist melee, they're not very good, um, we could resist some, uh, you know, the thing is, I'm usually hit by, um, close up things, so we need something that gives us a resistance to melee, which I don't think we have, um, hold on, melee, 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 uh, seven or six, we could do this. So we get extra against shock. We get some uh, resistance to melee and some resistance to range. So that's definite. Now we're, we're, we have lots of stuff. Um, now, this is a really good one uh, because it gives us quite a lot of resistance towards fire and more resistance towards melee. Uh, we could do this one and be really good against shock. But if we do this one, we get... I think, that, well, it's 25. It's 29 in total. This gives us 27. So, out of all of them, this one gives us the most and a varied amount. So, it gives us melee and fire. So, let's do that one. So, if we look at our suit now, we've got resistance to rain. We've got resistance to everything except we don't have stealth. Uh, and corruption, but, I mean, I don't really know what corruption would do. Um, you see, that one's stealth. It's not that good, it's only 6%, but the whole thing is a stealth suit itself. So now we're going to look at weapons. So let's look at our bow, it has three. And these are good ones. Uh, so, what do we want from our bow? Uh, piercing. Look at that, 27 added to the already amazing 75. And it adds, um, 
it probably makes our normal ammo, the hunter ammo, usable. Or we could go fire, depending on what we got. Damage. We could do more damage. But we need purple. Handling. I'm not too sure what handling means. Does it, does it mean it's steadier? We don't have freeze, so freeze wasted on us. Um, fire is 666. Six, six. Doesn't really matter. Tear. 27. We have to get that. We're putting that one on. That's awesome. And we should do lots of damage. So 26%, 22, and 16. Put 26% more damage. And we'll also put another 20. Should we put 22? 12 handling. I really don't know what handling does, though. Fire. Oh, we don't have a good enough one for fire. Let's put on the 22% extra damage. So we do loads more. Look at all that. Look at all that green. I've got a pocket full of pretty green. And this is our new shock bow. Uh, which we don't have anything really that good for. We can have handling and freeze extra. 23% on freeze. Because we do have freeze arrows. But I want shock. So... Let's make this bow an amazing one for shock. 24% extra. Then 25% extra. Hold on. And then 19% extra. Giving us a 45 shock and an extra little bit to the freeze. Great. Um, we do have that. We should... Uh, see, that's already 174 shock. So our bow doesn't really do too much shock. But if it's going gonna, it's gonna to do some if we use it at all. Um, Tripcaster does way more shock, but even then, you need at least two on the harder uh, regions. So, capacity to carry. Uh, rope caster ammo pouch. Well, I'm kind of okay. Four seems to be the max upgrade for anything. Warbow, we could do even more. Yeah, why not? Go on then. Uh, everything else we're pretty good for, apart from modification satchel. Um, you know, we'll upgrade that. Once it's upgraded, we don't need to do it anymore. Uh, resources. Damn it! Oh! Oh, we need a raccoon skin. And then we could have plus three capacity, but that's okay. And... That first moment after the rain. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited! It's already been 32 minutes, damn it! Oh! No! No, but the episode, I feel like we've, we've, we've barely done anything. But we've also learned a lot! I love this game. It's awesome. So, uh, yeah, we're not doing too good on health. I mean, we've done better. Oh, hello! <laughs> You're new. Should we take him out? We don't have stealth. One thing we don't have. But what's he weak to? The back is weak to just general damage. Um, the canisters are weak to fire. So we could blow him up by setting him on fire for the underneath. And we could attack the top. He doesn't seem to have any friends. He's by himself. Oh, friend. <laughs> so let's... Oh, look at the damage. 102 and 47 pierce. And then... If we can get lucky enough, just get up high. Um, and... Hold on. That's three. Three arrows. And get ready. Bam! Okay. Let's just... Carry on. There we go! Beautiful! Now let's do some damage to his undercarriage, shall we? If we can. He's already on fire, to be honest. <laughs> his day can't really get much worse. Not gonna lie. If we can aim for his pupe sacks, I would, but he's actually run running away. Never mind. I didn't mean to do that, but he's still running away. <laughs> let's go track him down. You see, now I'm the predator. As long as I keep my wits about me. Because there are s I could still be killed by him. Now he's gone keep a distance. Yep. He's gonna come over, hopefully. I mean, get those pupe sacks. There we go. Oh, the damage. There we go. That's one. Keep, keep hitting those sacks. There we go. He's done. He's done. That's it. I think that arrow meaning down mean he's lo that means he's losing two health all the time, even after the fire. So he's done. He's a goner. Oh no, bless him. He's like coming towards. Like please, put me out my misery, damn it. Okay, I'll do it. 
Uh, just in case he was gonna like flamethrow me. Woohoo! Only 25 and 14 blaze. Hardly seems worth it, does it? <laughs> also, I realize the cost for making a set of 10 arrows for the small bow is the same if you make 10 arrows or one arrow. So it's best instead of making that extra one to just wait. And uh, let's make that and save. So we got some XP for that. Which is really all we care about. Because we get XP, we get skill points. And in fact, speaking of skill points, we have four now. Now what I was talking about before was the Tinker. And there it is, Tinker. But you know, to be honest, I'm okay. We can get speed up on the health recovery and also um, get more health on the naturalist. So if we look at this, our health recovers really quick. Although, it's, of course, it's not as quick as a potion, so is it really worth it? Um, uh, what w I was wanting is the quiet sprint, because then stealth doesn't even matter. If we can do quiet sprint, sprinting is quiet, greatly reducing the chances of alerting nearby enemies. Like, that's a watcher, one of the most alert robots. So that's what we're going to aim for. Quiet sprint requires two more, so we're going to wait for that. God, I'm loving this game. I'm getting all, like, nerdy and technical, and I hope you guys are loving it. <laughs> I don't feel like a noob anymore. I feel like I'm actually owning this. Right. So let's cut. Was there anything else that he dropped? Because when you chip pieces off them, sometimes you can just pick that up as normal metal. Oh, damn it. Damn it! Thank God it's just normal arrows I'm firing at you and not expensive ones. The thing is, though, if I look on my normal bow, that's 41 damage. That's 102. That precision arrow or sharpshooter bow, I guess it's good for long range. It only has one modification, if I remember right, so maybe I should sell it. Let's have a look. Inventory. Weapon. Yeah, it's not even the best. I should sell it. I should sell that and get the better version. Uh, that yeah, the better version has the other stuff on it. Oh man, why did I did I buy that? I think I might have bought that by accident. I didn't realize at the time that uh, there was any difference. All right. Now a lot of you guys have told me to tame things, not for the reason. Oh well, there goes that. My bad. Well, he's dead. Uh I mean, I'll, um, yeah. should we just end him? There you go. <laughs> oh, we got something good from him, too. Maybe it was meant to be. I think we got his heart. Blue means heart. Watch your heart, good. Watch your heart. Get a check up with the doctors. You know, I hope to someday live in a world where we can step in a machine and have a whole body scanned for health. Because at the moment, I'm getting these pains in my chest. And it's probably because I'm tired, and I know it is, and there's no real, real need to threat, uh, fret, sorry. But uh, at the same time, there's still a part of me that's like, no, I'm dying. <laughs> right, these are new as well. Shellbacks. Uh, they come with shields. So I want to first get that watcher on my side before we attack them. So we'll take some chill water. That's good for making freeze stuff. Uh, we'll scan this watcher here. See where his path goes. So he's gonna turn around pretty quick. This guy is coming back around though. Oh, they're all on paths. Yeah, they all go around. So this guy's coming back up this way. Should we just attack? We'll put three arrows in. And we need to attack his back. If we scan him... He has some guns on the front, but something's on the back. It's a crate holder. So if we shoot the crate off him, we can loot the crate. Oh god, that was awful. Oh yeah, he's gonna see me. Oh god. Oh god, it's homing! Oh, Jesus! Please don't get me. Ah, God, Lord. <laughs> I've annoyed all of them. Okay, guys, this may be the last one before we get there. 
But it's gonna be an epic fight. Let's get the hard arrows out. Right, let's take out his fists. Oh, he's got a shield up. Or he's charging. Let's take out the watcher. Oh, damn it. Right, let's get the backpacks of them. Oh, there's something underneath. I don't know what that is. They seem to be running away, though. Hold on, let's see if we can get his underneath things. Damn it. It's kind of hard to do a precision shot. Oh, okay. Come on then, son. Bring it on. There we go. His components off. Let's see if we can get this thing, whatever it is. So these do shock damage. Oh, it's a shield. Right. Okay, I'm hidden. If these watchers come around, I'm going to convert them to my side. Ah, I saw it. Ah! <laughs> I saw a chance to kill him and I took it. Right, okay, you guys are dead. Sorry, dude. Oh, wait, I just shot his helmet off. There you go. Oh, I got him. Oh, no, I missed him. These arrows are really, really friggin' good. I love them. There we go. You're mine, buddy. There we go. You're on my side. Help me. He's like spinning like... Burf! 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 Go get him! Oh, is he dead or... He's... He's... He's dead. <laughs> right, let's take out this guy's arms. That's... Oh, he's got a shield on that one. Let's take out his other arm. This is a crabby. There, his arm's fallen off. He's like... No, my good arm! I want to get that stuff on the underneath there. Uh, if I can get it while... Ah, oh, one more! Yeah! There we go. That's another one dead. Um... Alright, let's see. This is really cool. I've came such a long way. From dying all the time to... To this. There's a... Oh, my, my pet! No! I, I harvested his heart! <laughs> Take this scrap. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, come on, Watcher. Come on, Watcher. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here, doggy. Come on. You gotta be mine. Hold oh, override. Okay, there we go. You're mine. Fight for Papa. I mean, Mama. Oh, God. Why'd you kill him as soon as I get him? Well, you know, at least he did his... J oh, Jesus. What is that? <laughs> Gonna get your hand. It's gonna happen. Watch it. It's kind of cool how they've got like force fields. Break! Off it pops. That's okay. That's okay. I'm okay. I got this. I got this. Like a boss. There. Yeah. Oh, I missed him. There. Yeah, one more. Bam! Oh, his hand's not gone. Boom. Okay. Right. I don't know if there's a way of getting their, their stuff off them. No. This, you see, these guys are clever. They shoot at where I'm going. I don't like that homing one! <laughs> like, is it a possibility to just, like, take the thing off? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put more arrows in my bow. And when he turns around... Let's see if it's possible to knock his, um, his thing off him. Because we just, like, scavenged one over there. And I'm wondering if that's a possibility. So when he comes around, we'll shoot his, uh, these, this thing here. Ready? There! Yeah, we took, we did it! Oh, wait, was that a machine override? Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, I'm in. Oh, God, no. Get out, get out, get out! Woo! Thank God he killed himself there. <laughs> we did it. We got like one of the chests. So if you shoot the underneath, it blows up. What was inside? Chill water. Oh, that's what's inside them to make ice stuff. So we got a stealth weave. That's good. That's good for um, uh, co like uh, uniforms, costumes, uniforms, bloody armor, whatever. Shellwalker lens. 
Oh, I'm full of those. Tell you what, before we go on, let's make sure I've got enough space. Or let's make things. Let's craft some stuff. Like potions and things like that. Don't really like that one. I like this. Uh, antidotes. Get all this. Just make sure we got enough. And then let's... You know what? Let's just throw those flowers. We don't really care about them. And that'll free up a lot of space. Look at all this! Look at all the sparkers we've got! Um, we could probably throw those. So, drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Got loads of flowers. Way too many flowers. What am I? A florist? <laughs> no, don't pick them back up. There we go. Oh, that's cool. How they stay like that. That's nice. Just in case you accidentally drop something that you didn't want to let go. Take those. I'm sure all of this is way more valuable. And there's a lot of metal here too. Guys, that was awesome. And there's stuff over here. Wow. What is with this? 13% handling. That's good. Uh, what's in here? Echo shell. 25% corruption coil. Okay. 90% uh, fire resistance. That's good. Wow, that was all for him. Awesome. Something ran past me. I was hoping it was a raccoon. Of some sort. But I don't think it was. Oh, what the hell is that? A scrapper. Hmm. Uh, kind of okay. I don't really want to take one of those on. So, I am going to continue. Well, I'll tell you what. In the next episode, we'll continue our way through and uh, see how far we can get. Oh, I'm enjoying this so much. We've actually discovered a lot of the map. Since we mounted the, um, the, yeah, the tall neck there. Um, we've got to go to this area, I'd imagine. And then probably like this area. I know there's stuff over here. So, really, I don't know how much of the story's left. But I kind of don't want it to be over. Because there's so much to do. And it's so it's loads of fun to take on the robots. Especially when you've got maxed bows. And maxed um, outfits and that. And then you can interchange things. And you know upgrade things. Switch things out. It's awesome. So guys if you enjoyed the video. Leave a like. And until next time. I'll see you later. Bye.